right, here we are on Tuesday. The plant is hopping. Here is the 1990 Marenter. There's our post. Here's our pumpkin. Last year it sat right about here. This year it's gonna sit right about here. I was hoping to get it more over here, but the pumpkin took a while to come on. So, you know, it's a great spot. I mean, the plant's big. Termination will happen in two days now, one one or two. Sunny, the you can see I had it two days after I what was that on Sunday I was vine burying. Here it is Tuesday evening. I had a vine berry of this plant again. You can see that plant back there I haven't done. Gotta head off to some baseball practices. So we're not gonna be able to do that, but uh, we've been picking a ton of females. So it took this plant forever to get our females, and now we just keep plicking one right after another off of that plant. They come on the ends of your vines here. So not where we want them, but they look, it's a great sign. Right, bud? Yep. Yeah, it's been doing good. So a little look from this side, very green, healthy plant. We'll go over here and look at the Gettys now. And the Gettys, like I said, I haven't terminate or vine buried today well it's got to wait till tomorrow i like to do both of them in one day but whatever plant looks great from this side and this female whoever guessed that it was going to open up on the 27th i would say was going to be correct it will not open up tomorrow however Two days from today it'll be opening up and you can see i got a little vine coming off i'm gonna i mean a root I need to bury that one. I want to keep those roots growing. There we go. I don't know. It's yellow right now, but who knows if it's going to be white or yellow later. So there's a little look over her. Sometimes if you're outside, you probably want to put something between this and the vine just to keep it from rubbing. Oh, sorry. Keep it from rubbing right back here. So something that you could do just to hold the female out of the way. Once again, be very delicate when you do that type of stuff anything too crazy but there it is both plants are cruising the Marenzer whenever that one opens up it'll have several of the side vines terminated by then so we are way 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 ahead of last year I don't even know I think we're going on probably about three weeks ahead of last year plants look exceptional we will see you guys in a couple of days right buddy yeah, yeah. okay people Today is the day. It's my favorite time of year. It's What's... pollinating pumpkins. Oh yeah. Finally, we get to see our babies be born. <laughs> I'm already born. Not, Not you guys. But, what the heck is it doing outside? It's rain. pouring rain right now. Pouring rain. So... It just got higher once we stepped out the door. Yeah, last night we had major storms throughout the entire state of Kansas. Tornadoes everywhere. There was major wind blowing through here. That doesn't matter. It's pollination day. So we're going to head over to the greenhouse here in just a second. Let's check out this pollination. Hopefully, because of the clouds, it still was able to open. We're going to find out in a second. I can't wait. Yes, we've been so dark, it's not quite open yet. It, but it's ready. We'll go get a quick look at it. There she is. Alright, there. She wants to open. I don't know. I think we're going to have to wait. We're just going to have to wait it out. Get it some, we'll get it some male flowers over there. Oh. My fan blew down last night. There's one. Looks like I better fix it up. Got lucky it didn't fall on the plant. What a crazy night. Okay. We're going to go get some stuff taken care of here. Okay. So, Dad's got to go to work, and I don't think this girl is going to fully open. So, we're going to have to try to force it open a little bit. Now, the one thing I like to do, it's going to be hard to see. The girls are kind of over there because... I don't want to come in out here, but I take my cloth, and if you would have saw it, where this leaf is really close to it, can you see that? 
I like to get this cloth right in between there. You just take that. And all that does is, now that that just helps to protect it from that. So we have to actually force this one open. It wants to open. It'll probably open fully here in an hour or two. And inside, I see a nice four blower. So we're gonna get our pollen. We got the pollen from the Marenzer plant over there. Carefully pull off the petals. Get him inside there. We let the pollen do its work. Really get it rubbed in there. I like to rub it all over. I'll do this for like three or four of them, but we'll get it in there. Can I help pollen? And then I take that, mm -mm. I break that off, and I make sure to put it right in there. That way it helps to pollinate it a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Good, good luck to everybody. Our season's underway. The baby's been born. All right, now we're on to Friday. And we got another female here. Kind of give you a look at the difference between when it's going to open and when it's not. This one I can tell will open on Sunday, which is two days from now. So, it's got a little bit of dirt that I covered up. I'm trying to keep the vine, sorry, a little dirt that I covered up. I'm trying to keep the vine going. Trying to keep him as clean as possible, her, clean as possible. So that's 1990 Marenzer. I had a leaf that was under the bottom of this one for some reason. Came up a little weird, so I just took it off. I mean, it is what it is. That's gone. I will try to keep this, but I might not. I might just cut off the tendril. I mean, the secondary. So there it is. You can tell she's not yellow. So she's green. So that means two days from now is when this one will be opening up. So here's a look at the plant. Once again, I buried this side. And it's getting close. We're about a foot and a half or so. Two days. It's going to get real cold tonight. So I say two days. Maybe it's three. I don't know. I doubt it. It'll probably be two days. Plant's growing extremely fast. You can see this one here is already pushing up against the side. So I have to take that secondary and terminate it. So we got one terminated. We'll have another one over there terminated. And before that, these here will be terminated a couple days after pollination. You can see they're just really sticking up high again. So I'll go through a bury it on the Gettys. I've terminated one side already. Plant looks awesome over there, really kicking it into gear. Like I said, this has been more of a compact plant, uh, but I really like it. And uh, the female is way over there, it's two days old. So we're gonna start measuring that. So there you go, there's your Friday update, looking great. Hopefully you guys can stay warm. I know there's a lot of cold air going through. Okay, end of the week. Well, it's middle of Sunday, but we're going to take it into the week view and whoa. Uh -oh. What's that? It still hasn't opened. The 1990 Marenzer. I don't even think it'll open tomorrow. It's so cool. Right now, she's growing, but she it's just slow. I guess she needs sun for some things, but boy. That green, healthy plant. Whew. She's a beaut. Have it. It's two days. It's been so cloudy. I think we high of 59 yesterday. High of maybe 60 today. So they're growing, obviously, but I'm not going to bury those today. I'll wait another day. Three days. Still, May, a monster plant. Yeah, pollination isn't just yet, but hey. No complaints here. I love that. So here's a look at the plant. We'll walk you through, get you to the back side here. Through the plants. It's a little more difficult all the time, which is a good thing. Here's the Gettys plant. Get you over here. We got one side vine terminated there, one side vine terminated there. It's a hard thing to do. You grow these plants out and then they're growing perfectly healthy, huge, tons of growth every day, and stip, off she goes. And over here, we got the Gettys pollination. We're sitting at three days, just humming along. We got a, our backup right here, 
There's the backup. Generally, I'd say that'll open in eight to 10 days, but heck, that might be two weeks from now. Who knows? Gotta get some sun. But here it is. Give you a look. Looking great. Nice stem on it. I like the stem. Looks like it's a little bit of a longer pumpkin, possibly. Not perfectly round, I like that. It's a oranger color right now. We'll see how, if that turns, stays orange, turns white. What do we got there? So, I'm continuing to try to mound up a little bit. You can see where, right there, that's where the root's gonna begin. So you just wanna cover that up a little bit. There we go. Get a little root going there. What the heck, why not? Look at these roots here. Jeez. Roots are all over. And one of the reasons why I hand pull, hand do everything, I'll go take you back here real quick. So I don't, when the, it gets out here, I don't use any rakes, I don't care. I put my boards down and then I hand pull all the weeds. Well, first time I just rub it along the top and then I pull them out. Same thing here, and I'll go back into all my my vines and pull them out. I do it all by hand. I don't do anything. I used to use some Roundup, but like on the edges, you figure, well, once I get to the edges, I pull the weeds. I don't care what they look like. Look, see, right back there. Look at all those weeds. Who cares? Over there, tons of weeds growing. Yeah, doesn't matter in the corners. When I get to the edges here, then I pull them. It looks pretty. So just don't look at that stuff right now. You know, that's what I say. And then over here, is a reason why sometimes you don't get vines all growing perfect. You get one back here like this, it's not as long as that one. Well, it's still doing good. Then you get over here and you can see right back there. See that? Roots out of the ground. Get roots popping up, right? So there's roots. If you go underneath this soil, just look at that. I barely moved the soil, right? right there and it exposes a root so if you're using a hoe are your hole only gonna go that far down i don't think so i think you're gonna go a lot further than that and you're just gonna chop that guy up well if you do it by hand you can watch that you don't do that so that's why i like to hand do everything it takes time but i don't count hours that i'm in a greenhouse i enjoy every second of it i remember winter I wasn't in the greenhouse, so I tell myself that all the time. What the heck? Get out here. If you got the time, take the time. If you don't, sure, go use a hoe. But if you have time, I re highly recommend hand pollinating everything. So, two days, maybe June 1st, you know? I don't know. Might be a June 1st pollination. We'll find out. Either way, she's a honey and she's going to keep on a humming. See you guys.